Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Nina here if this is your very first time here and we are going to go ahead and kick this video started. The first thing I'm going to start out with, I have already moisturized my face using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer and I let that sit on my face for about 5 minutes before I go in with my primer. And the primer I am going to use today is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm just going to rub it together once I place it in my hand. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys how much I use. But I use this primer because I'm an oil girl. And this primer uh, helps keep those uh, oil under control during the day. And I don't like to place too much in this area because I am um, dry up under my eyes. I'm just very oily in the T-zone, so that's where I concentrate this primer at. Also, before I get started, I like to um, moisturize my lips with just some um, regular old Vaseline. And I just put a little bit on. Not too much. And then because I like my lips to look a little plumper, I like to go in with my e.l.f. Um, lip plumper and primer and I just use the plumper side. And while that's doing its thing, then we can go ahead and concentrate on our face. Next, what I like to do is just take a damp beauty blender and I use my um, Erspawn translucent powder. Get some in the top here. I better just let this sit on my face while I do my brows. And I'm only concentrating on the oily areas. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl um, Pro Pencil. Well, first I'm gonna comb my um, brows into place using a spoolie. Then I go in and outline it with the LA Girl Pencil. Then I like to take my NYX pencil and just comb, well, kind of like, I guess you could say comb, but just kind of bring those colors forward. I'm just cleaning up my brows using the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Cafe. And then I just take my angle brush. And I'm gonna just take my Real Techniques um, crease brush and just buff that out, well, blend it. Okay, so now we can, you know, dust off this powder so we can stop looking crazy. And then what I like to do is go in with hazelnut and kind of just do the top, but I'm not doing the most, I promise you. This is gonna be very, very easy. And we're gonna take a angle brush again, but this will be a different angle brush. And 
and taking that same brush, that same crease brush, and we're gonna buff this out. And I just like to do this because then when I'm applying my foundation, I don't um, have to come in this area because that's why it's important to use a concealer of your same shade and that way you don't have to mess your brows up when you're applying your foundation. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. And I like to just get some regular old scotch tape and place it on the outer corners of my eyes so that I don't worry about trying to clean up any fallout from the shadows. Then we're gonna take our Cafe shade again. We're gonna take our crease brush and we're gonna blend it out. We're gonna blend it in. Okay, so then I like to go in with that beauty blender again and it just have like a little bit of leftover of that translucent powder. I don't re really dip it or anything. I just place this on my eye to kind of set that uh, concealer a little bit and then just dust it off with the powder brush. And I just do this because I get very oily in my um, eyelids as well and my eyeshadow will crease. So that helps me. Now the eyeshadow palette that I am going to be using is super duper affordable. It's the Maybelline CD Mini palette. And we're just, if I can get it open, we're just going to go in with this shade right here. And we're going to use a flat brush. Then you're going to get a, I think this is my shadow brush. This is a wet and wild brush. And we're just going to blend that up into our crease. Then I like to go on my, another super affordable um, eyeshadow palette is from BH Cosmetics, the Desert Oasis palette. And I like to go in this shade right here. And it is Heat Haze. And you just basically apply that on top of that Maybelline shadow and just bring it up into the crease. Okay, so another thing that's um, very simple and easy is your lashes. Falsies is not welcome in this video because we're beginners and we're still learning, you know, the whole process and the steps, okay? So the um, lash application that I love to use is the um, Maybelline, the Falsies Push-Up Drama Waterproof Mascara. And I love this because um, you can apply many coats of this and it could possibly look like you got on falsies if your eyelashes are long like mine. So we're just gonna apply a coat of this. Okay, next we are going to go ahead and apply our uh, foundation. We're not gonna be contouring or highlighting in this video because like I said, this is a beginner's video and I feel like uh, first let's Focus on the basic of makeup. Then we can, you know, proceed to highlight and contour. But let's get the basic down, okay? My favorite go-to foundations, because I am a oily girl, is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation. And I am in the shade 112 Cocoa. Also, I love, 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 love the Revlon Color Stay. Get this right. Right there. I don't know if it's focusing. But anyways, it's the Revlon Color Stay um, combination to oily. I am in the shade 440, which is mahogany. As you can see, I am almost out because, guys, I love this stuff, okay? And... Let's commence. Okay. And I am today I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Okay. Now we are going to take our Real Techniques 
buffing brush i love this brush don't mind it i did clean it about two days ago so that's why it looks like this because i used it but yeah i love this brush and we're just going to buff this into the skin using tapping motions i'm going to swap out and use my damp beauty blender i feel like that would be best yeah I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that and just get up on my eyes And you see me going up under my neck because you want to make sure you don't have that line. So you want to get up under your neck good, kind of drag it under. Okay, and voila, we're done with blending it out and we have just a little foundation left. I did add just a little bit because I wanted to get up under my eyes real good since we are not highlighting up under the eyes. And I really don't have dark circles up under the eyes. So, you know, that's why I just took just a little bit more coverage under the eyes. Okay. Um, now we are going to just bronze. Okay. Not really contour, but just bronze the face so we can have a nice pretty glow. Is this Black Radiance True um complexion contour palette and this is the medium to dark one and i'm going to use this shade right here as you can see i am hitting the pan pretty hard because i use this like this is my go to every single day what i want to work what i wear when i run my errands suck them chicks in girl Get those temples, honey. And then I'm just going to go in with my buffing brush and just kind of, you know, blend this in a little bit more so it don't look harsh or anything. Now we're going to move on to blush. And guys, my favorite blush my Maybelline Fit Me uh, blush, and this is in Berry Bay. And we're going to use our um, blush brush from Morphe, and this is the M104 brush, okay? I'll try to make sure I put the um, brushes that I use down below, because these brushes are very, very affordable, okay? I have, you have seen me use the Real Techniques, you have seen me use the Morphe, and you have seen me use the Wet n Wild. Okay, so when I mean this, this full face is affordable. Like we're not breaking the bank. Okay, we're not breaking the bank. Okay, we look, we ain't about that life. Okay, smile and bring it up some. I see this side. You see this side. Ah! Girl. We doing this thing today, honey. We we are doing this today. Where are we about to go? Okay? Where we where we where are we about to go? Okay? We look, we ain't gotta go to the grocery store now, but we just finna make some blank trips just to show this face off, okay? Girl, you so girl. Okay, you could. Who did your face, honey? You did? Girl. Okay. We're going to reapply some um, mascara to those bottom lashes. I am going to be using my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold.
once again um, a Maybelline product and it is the Maybelline pro uh, Maybelline New York plumper please Okay, so now we are going to marry everything together. Excuse the parch voice. With our um, NYX um, matte finish spray. And I love this too. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Uh, Y'all, we, we need to be proud of ourselves, okay? Because we didn't break the bank. And then we got this full, gorgeous, glowing, soft glam face. And it was easy. Simple and easy, okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you hadn't by now, subscribe to the So Glam Squad. Go ahead and hit that nice little red button down below. Okay, so you can be a part of the So Glam team. You know, I would love to have you on board. There's plenty of room for you, honey. Because, baby, we, we all about learning and making errors, mistakes all together okay i i'm not no professional i still make mistakes my darn self okay but we're gonna make them together okay so if you enjoyed this give your girl a thumbs up okay um also comment down below on what you would like to see next um if you want me to do a beginner um trial on the uh highlight and contour just leave that comment down below and i will get that video out for you i'm also gonna try to put together a um skincare routine video for you guys so that you can keep this flawless face like this okay leave them pimples and white heads and black heads where they at okay okay all right so I hope you guys continue to have a flawless day today because I am. I'm going to go and show this beat face off. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and happiness. Bye.